With the nickname of Super Mario, it was hoped Mario Draghi could be the one to steer Italy out of a series of crises. It was in February last year that the 74-year-old accepted to form a new government, recognizing significant challenges. It is a difficult moment. The president has spoken about the dramatic health crisis and its grave effects on people's lives, on the economy and on society. Recognition of the urgency requires responses that are at the height of the situation. Draghi took the post of Prime Minister after Italy's last government, headed by Giuseppe Conte, collapsed in January after losing a majority in the Senate. Draghi spent days assembling a government of national unity and had a diverse range of parties on board, from the anti-establishment Five Star Movement to the far-right League. One of the reasons so many of them joined forces is that they all wanted a say in how Italy spent more than 200 billion euros in EU recovery funds. Mario Draghi is a well-known figure in Italian finance. From 1984 to 1990, he served as Italian executive director of the World Bank, followed by stints at Goldman Sachs and the Bank of Italy. In 2011, he was made president of the European Central Bank, a position he held until 2019. It was in this role that he was widely credited with pulling the euro back from the brink of collapse during the sovereign debt crisis, making his now famous promise to do whatever it takes.